Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Evans Baird with Cove 2 Coast Marine, and we're proud to be an East Cape dealer for Georgia and South Carolina. So if you're in the low country and looking for an East Cape, give us a call. Today we're on our first East Cape 25 open. This is an incredible layout as you can tell. Tons of walking room all the way around the coffin box. Um, we ordered this boat ready to customize. So we kind of left it base model to let the customer kind of customize it with the options you like. Um, up here on the front, I like you have a nice casting deck to throw your cast net. If you're doing some tarpon fishing, get up there. Does have the anchor locker up here. And we can add the casting platform if you want to do some tarpon stuff up there. As you can see here, great storage space under your bow rail up here on the front. Uh, flip flops, bumpers, dock lines, great storage access there. We optioned this boat with the forward lounge coffin box. So you can see you have a huge, this can be a fish box, this can be dry storage, wet storage. Uh, you can put a divider in there if you want to and do sandwiches and ice on one side. You got your shock hinges here. So that's a super nice option. You can outfit this boat without the lounger and then all this would be open up front and you can maybe put a cooler right there on the front side. So back here at the transom of this East Cape 25 open, the first thing I want to show you is these recessed trim tabs. And first off, you'll see they're very small tabs, but they're super responsive as this boat really doesn't need the tabs. It's nice too when you're climbing on the boat, you don't hit your foot on those tabs. So you can do a lot of different power options with these boats. We did this one specifically with the Suzuki 300. You're getting about three and a half to four and a half miles per gallon at cruise, super efficient. This boat's got 133 gallon fuel cell, so tons of range on it. Um, you're gonna see speeds in the mid upper 40s on this motor. And you can option it with a twin power now up to 400 horsepower. So inside the console here, you have tons of storage space. You can do a bathroom in here if you'd like to. You got your dual battery switches, uh, both your house and cranking battery, and then access to all your breakers, everything nicely wired and zip tied up, nice and neat. Um, great room for storage. So East Cape really knocked it out of the park with this layout here in the back. You have a Helm full 60 gallon live well. So really cool system here. You can open the whole live well open or you can shut your seat you got access to it right here as well. So same thing back here as far as space behind the leaning post, tons of room, big casting decks back here. Um, so under these three boxes, you can option them. You can do coolers, you can do extra live wells, you can do dry or wet storage. We option these to be open. Great storage spot for nets, uh, bumpers, life jackets, anything you wanna put back there huge access to your bilge live well pumps very easy to get to very accessible um a mechanic's dream back here <laughs> so some cool options at the helm here we did the little brock seats uh feel really nice you got the flip up bolsters and armrest that comes standard on those east cape is very customizable as far as the helm height i'm six foot tall here great visibility at the helm we did do the black textured look on this boat looks really well and blends in nicely with the uh, snow gray on this boat we don't have any mfds in here but you can do a 16 um, i think you go up to a 24 inch screen here suzuki gauge all your switching nice and easy to get to it has the trim tabs on this boat which you really don't even need the boat handles so well um, so come by and give us a call and check out let's build you an escape boat <laughs> 